Hello again, everybody. It's Boston Tracy, and I'm back with another model. Now, an, an AutoCAD model. Now, this one I haven't made 3D yet. I've just been uh, I just designed it out and drawn the um, kind of the specs for what it will be, what it will look like. And what I decided to do for this model was make a remote control um, dragonfly, but to gear it in such a way that I can get maximum functionality uh, with it, uh, but for very, very, very little uh, complexity. And uh, let me uh, help you under uh, tell you what I did for it. Now, uh, what it's going to do is um, it's going to use a um, a um, DC, mo DC motor, which is uh, this is the kind of outline of it uh, of the one I found for on it well for cheap on Amazon because this is the one I'm going to use at the proper dimensions and everything and um, but uh, the way it's going to work now so far this is a this is a large dragonfly um, this this is a one to two ratio so it's twice this big it's like um, 14 inches 14 15 inches long um, but uh, which I will of course shrink it down to make it about as you know as big as I want as small as I want and um, but this is the basic design so what i'm going to do to make it work is i'm going to use um for the wings i'm going to use um kind of a uh, kind of a plastic uh kind of a, a plastic filament uh, a sheet filament to uh, do these to go to be the main wing part but these right here uh, all each of these um, little uh, uh, little brackets that you see right here, what those are going those are going to be the three D printed um, frame, and so e inside each one of these uh, rectangles, each one of these uh, polygons will be uh, the will be open plastic uh, sheet filament. And there's going to be there's going to be four of these wings, and what I what I'm thinking about doing, which I may not do first, but what I'm what I'd like to do is put a very very small camera in here with no zoom or anything, and to make this the head part make it very clear, very transparent plastic, so. Uh, so I can uh, look down at my controller and I can see what the dragonfly sees. And uh, well, what I'm going to do for, to, for the to make these work is I'm going to take this small, very, this very small uh, DC motor. I'm going to have two of them, uh, one working each pair of wings. So one, one right here. This right, one motor right here, or both of these wings, and one motor right here will work both of these wings. And now it's 37,000 RPM, but, um, and I can kind of, I can gear that down, which I'm going to do to, so it's f uh, less overall speed, but higher torque, a little, but a little bit higher torque. And what I'm going to do is, right here uh, um I, I have a I have a gear right here that uh is going to be the main gear on the the main wheel gear on the uh, on the motor and then the motor or the that motor wheel uh, gear is going to feed to bigger gears who have that um, who have these little um kind of these nubs right here which the wings attach to and will um, will 
the a, a, a circle type deal will fit on here will fit on uh, will be on the end of this uh, this little uh, frame and fit on the wing and so then it will go back and forth and go round and round and round to make the wings go um, uh, go up and down fly up and down flap up and down and the way I can um, get maximum height is to turn both of these motors on full power and so both sets of wings will flap as fast as they can but if I want it to move and say go forward um, this motor this front motor will slow down uh, while this back motor will speed up and uh, that's if I want it to go straight um, if I want it to turn uh, that's what I made that's why I made this these links of for different links for the uh, for the tail so what the way it's going to work is the the there's going to be string coming from here and then uh, going out to going out to here and then curving or then going out to, to about right here to which will be about right here or so and because and due to this curve right here it will curve around and go straight back to this curve right here and then it will go back uh, straight back and wrap around uh, wrap around this here and or tie in the very middle actually so that and I'll have one of those on each side. So if I want the um, so when it, so when I want the dragonfly to turn, it will uh, this motor right here will turn on, and I don't want it to be very strong and break this plastic right here. So I'm not going to gear it at all, and um, so, so that so, uh, I'm not going to actually gear it. That way it is forced to stop and it just can't doesn't have the strength to pull any harder and break the break this um break this plastic once the tail has curled all the way to the side to whichever side and once the tail curls to whichever side that weight will cause the dragonfly to lean in whichever direction forcing it to turn forcing the wings uh to and the wings will keep flapping and with the weight distribution that will force the uh force the dragonfly to turn to bank and uh, the what the way i'm going to control it is uh, i'm going to put a mini arduino right under these um, motors and kind of under a board so it will be under these gears and that and that will be necessary will be all that's necessary to control it i'm not sure if a mini arduino will be enough to control a camera or uh, to turn on and transmit a camera as well but because of my because of the way i have it set up that will be that mini arduino will be enough to completely control its flight because all, all it has to do is increase uh, this motor, increase increase or decrease this motor, and then increase or decrease this motor at the at the push of well, not push the button, but um, w whenever I turn or uh, turn or push the joystick. So uh, and all it has to do is moderate three motors and um, gra gradually, it, whether I you do it increase this motor really fast uh, it's very slowly very gradually increase the uh, this motor to one side or the other the, that will be enough to give me full functionality and for my dragonfly and all i have to do all i'll have to do with my mini arduino is control three small dc motors electric motors gradually that's all it has to do and so that's all I'm going to have to do to make a fully functioning dragonfly. And but and because it so little 
motion, so little um, action is necessary. That's why I'm thinking I can and hoping I can put a small camera right here and you and give the camera control the camera with my uh, w with the mini Arduino because the camera doesn't have to zoom or it you know, or turn or anything. It just has to sit there and transmit the video straight to my controller or whatever screen I use to li I link it to. And uh, that's all I have to do for my full, for a fully functioning um, dragonfly. I will keep you updated when I do make this 3D and and I do um, completely uh, or I do f finish the 3D model before I start building. Oh, and just so you know, um, I, I find I wouldn't I didn't think I needed to mention it, but these are walls here, meaning this is solid, but this here is completely open. So this is so you can see where the top and bottom stop and the back is completely and totally open where the, this here will fit into this here. So the tail will can swing from side to side. Okay, thank you everybody. And if you have any questions, just message me and ask your questions and I will keep you updated when I make the 3D version. Um, and please come back when, uh, when I, please come back and check for the next 3D model I video I make. Thank you very much, people. Goodbye.